Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Julie Brown, Warren County Extension Agent for 4-H Youth Development. Julie serves on our Warren County Ag Awareness Committee and every year we plan for this big event. We do. And everyone's very excited because they get to have a free breakfast. That's awesome. <laughs> and you know, when we think about agriculture, we think about food, or at least when I do. Yes. That's the first thing that comes to our mind. In March, we celebrate National Agriculture Day, the Agriculture Literacy Month. A lot of celebrations go on in March. And so the Warren County Ag Awareness Committee just kind of wanted to add this one to celebrate farmers and the connection that farmers have to the community. And that's the big part about this breakfast is, you know, not only do we have our farmers there, um, we will have our new Commissioner of Agriculture will be bringing greetings, but also our 4-H members will be there, our FFA members will be there, um, possibly some of our legislators, possibly, you know, people um, that work in the business community or in the county government will be there as well. So it's a way to recognize all of those people and also everybody, like, it's kind of the same page, so they understand what agriculture brings to Warren County, even though we're such a large county, but we're also still a very rural county as well. Absolutely. And, you know, agriculture affects everybody, even though the 2% of the population is actively involved in production agriculture. We'd like to invite people to celebrate that. When is the breakfast? Where's the breakfast? And so it form? is uh, Friday, March the 8th, and it's at the National Corvette Museum out off of Louisville Road. Um, we ask you to RSVP to the Working Extension Office um, by March the 1st, just so that we can make sure that we have a good, accurate number for the food. Um, the number here is 270-842-1681. Please come along. We want you to especially meet our new Commissioner of Agriculture. Um, not a lot of people is familiar with Commissioner Shell. Um, so this would be a great way to introduce him and see what his plan is for the next four years for agriculture in, in the state of Kentucky. And I think a lot of people are surprised when they hear about the Kentucky Department of Agriculture and all the things yes. that fall under the department. They are one of the regulatory sides for agriculture in the state of Kentucky, like pesticides. And people usually think about that yeah. with agriculture. But you got to think about your gas. I mean, they regulate your <laughs> gas. And that's one of the things that they regulate that all of us need. Absolutely. So they make sure that all those are working properly. Also, the weights, yes. um, the scales in all the grocery stores, they measure those and make sure those are accurate. Oh. All the amusement park rides in the state of Kentucky is regulated through the Department of Agriculture. So Commissioner Shell has a lot of things that he is you know, in charge of, in, charge of yeah. in the Department of Agriculture. So he's going to come and talk about what his thoughts are for the, at least the next four, maybe yep. even eight years. And so it's always nice to see the young people, the next generation of agriculture. And, volunteering. and especially they'll be volunteering, but someone will be leading, you know, the pledges and things like that. And just seeing what their interests are, because, you know, some of these kids, they don't grow up on a farm but they have that interest in agriculture because they may want to be a diesel mechanic or they may want to be a veterinarian, those types of things. Absolutely, and I think it's a great way and they can hear from the commissioner firsthand. And you know, the Ag Awareness Committee really invests a lot in yes. youth. They give away many grants and I know you've been a part of that project as well. And in the past year, they've paid for agricultural field trips, even some engines. Yes, they've paid for small engines. We've done field trips. They have also helped um, Kids are going out to new beginnings um, and getting horse information, not riding lessons, but information about the equine industry when they go out there and visit and tour out there as well. Yeah, so those are great ways for people who might not have the opportunity to be raised on the farm to still get information about agriculture and find out about all the new things that are out yes. there. And we've even given out grants, you know, to the schools that are raising gardens, you know, at the schools and things like that to help the teachers out, um, you know, as well. So if there's people out there that, you know, are helping youth and doing youth programs and they're needing help with agriculture, you know, reach out to the Warren County Ag Foundation. Maybe they can help with a grant to help purchase supplies or help do a field trip or something like that. Who can come to this event? It is open to anyone and everyone. Um, so if you're interested in coming, you know, please come on. So our food lines will open at 715 on Friday, March the 8th at the Corvette Museum. The breakfast will actually begin at 730. Um, with that, and then the commissioner will speak about 7.45, and we hope to have you out there by about 8.30. So if you are a business person and you're a little worried, you know, if you got to be there at 8 or something, you know, hopefully we'll have you pretty much at the office by 8.30 or so. Um, but please come out, you know, visit with our farmers, visit with our commissioner, visit with our 4-H members and our FFA members that are there, see what their interests are and see what they, you know, they're doing. They'll be greeting you at the door or they'll be giving you some eggs to go on your plate. All right. Well, Julie, appreciate all the work that you've done with the committee. And we hope to see you out to celebrate agriculture at the Warren County Ag Awareness Breakfast on March 8th at 730. Thanks for watching and have a great day.